Tonight I'm going to make a quick video demonstrating how to change out the battery in a GMC Terrain. This model specifically is a 2014 model, but this will also work for other years as well. So the first thing you need to do is sit down in your driver's seat and by your knees you'll see that there's a hood release latch lever and just pull that lever and your hood will pop open slightly. From there, find your GMC logo, follow that M up, well, kind of like right in between the G and the M, and you'll find a hood release lever. So what you're going to want to do is slide your hand in here and flip this lever to the right, hold that, and simultaneously lift open the hood, and that's how you're going to be able to open up your hood. Now, in order to complete this job, you're going to need a few tools. You're going to need a 10 millimeter socket, which I have quarter inch drive 10 millimeter socket on my Makita gun here. Uh, you're also going to need a body clip removal tool or a flathead screwdriver. Helps to have a little magnetic parts tray. I'd recommend some dielectric grease and also a small wire brush to clean out the terminals themselves. So the first thing you need to do is remove three body clips on the right side of the engine bay. One here, one here, and one here. And how you remove these body clips is simply take your body clip removal tool, sneak a little purchase in there, and then just pop it up like that. And again, grab it from the bottom, and they'll pop out like that. It's the easiest way that I've found to remove those without damaging them. So we'll just put those aside. Now once you remove those three body clips, this little plastic protective cover will simply flip over. It's de designed to do that, so you know, don't worry about it. Next thing we're going to need to do is take off this plastic shroud that sits over the ECM, engine control module if I'm not mistaken. So in order to remove this, I have everything kind of loosened up already, but there's a little clip right here that you need to press down with your thumb like so. So you're going to push down on that clip and just pull this to the right. See that's that little clip that I'm talking about, so just push that down, pull that shot out to the right, and it will slide right off. And then we're going to put this off to the side. Now, the next thing you're going to need to do is take your 10 millimeter socket and remove two 10 millimeter bolts and one 10 millimeter nut. So, in this center connection that goes to the ECM, right below this wire loom right here, you see that little hole right there? That's where you need to remove one 10 millimeter bolt you don't need any crazy swivels or extensions. You can just shift this off to the side a little bit and you have plenty of access. So remove that 10 millimeter bolt, this 10 millimeter bolt right here on this black bracket. And there's also a 10 millimeter nut on the back side of this ECM, which sits right there. You don't need to disconnect these electrical connections, leave those intact, but in order to remove this, simply grab it and slide it to the right and then you should be able to lift it up and carefully lift it over. Now the reason you need to slide it to the right is because there are two tabs on this metal bracket that holds the battery in place and those tabs lock into the back of the ECM right here and right here so that's why you need to slide it to the right. So now you have access to the battery and because we've removed those three or those two bolts and that one nut earlier we've also loosened up the battery bracket, which that just keeps the battery in place and prevents it from sliding around and slamming into things. And there you have it. Now you have complete access to your battery, which as you can see, I have not taken this battery off yet. So simply loosen up those two terminals, lift out your old battery. Before you put your new battery in though, again, I do recommend that you take a wire brush. They make special wire brushes just for cleaning battery terminals so if you don't have one of those it might be a smart thing to invest in but you can get by with just a you know a little small toothbrush wire brush so clean those up add some dielectric grease put the new battery back in there and then just reverse the process so i hope this video has helped i'm also just going to show you the numbers on this battery this one was purchased from autozone but there are just some of the the numbers right there in case you want to buy a battery of this style online so that's it, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.